Hello everybody, and today I forgot to film an intro, but this is going to be All My Pets of 2020. Um, there's a lot of voiceovers. On with the video! So, on to the first pet. Boris! Boris, where are you? So, this is my dog, Boris. He's a very old dog. We adopted him very old, and now he's even older. He's a miniature poodle. And he is deaf and he is blind and I think his sense of smell is diminishing. And he has creaky joints and he sleeps all day. And his name is Boris and he's a boy. Okay, Boris, I'm going to go shoot a video of my other pets now. Yeah. Okay, see you later. <laughs> now let's go to my second and my third pet over here so this is my terrarium I made it here's my terrarium so in here I have two pets my first is my pet snail she normally is on the climbing tree well no they're hermaphroditic meaning that they are both genders or no gender depending on whatever way you look at it there's two types of hermaphrodites those who are both or none, that's these, and those who can switch between one or the other. But these are hermaphrodites. I just call one a girl and one a boy, even though the one who's a boy laid eggs. Okay, as you will soon realize, there's a lot of voiceovers in this, but I just have to say that Nilly, the snail, was actually the one who ended up laying eggs because this is afterwards, so I know that the eggs hatch into baby snails. So this is Nilly. Oh yeah, and they're married, even though they're a slug and the snail. So this is Nilly. She's a snail. Let me see if I can get a close-up shot of her. I'm getting my mom to help me film because I'm doing a bunch of walking around, showing stuff. Ah, focus. Please focus, phone. Please focus. Okay, well, the glass is there, so it's, it's focusing on the glass instead of her, but that's Nilly. She likes to be on that climbing tree. This is the watering hole. That's the foraging spot. That's the great climbing tree and the stick and seashell point. It's hard to focus because it's focusing on the glass instead of the actual stuff inside. The rock, and there's reflections. Mid slimy square, the sprout meadow, slash the uh, sprout field. The forest of no snail return, and there are sea snail shells in there. Quartz rock, the hobbit hole. Sligoo likes to stay in there. Oh yeah, Sligoo's my slug. I call him a boy, but he laid eggs. Okay, so um, I'm editing this really late. It's already 2021, but I have to say that since this is after the eggs have hatched, I actually figured out that they were Nilly's eggs, not Sligoo's, because they hatched into baby snail. Um, I had to transfer the eggs when I brought them in here because there was mold in their previous enclosure, so I had to move them in here uh, prematurely. I was going to move them when their eggs hatched um, because I was scared of damaging the eggs, but... Um, the mold grew in their old space because it was moist because they like it moist so I keep them moist so I moved the eggs so hopefully they weren't damaged and hopefully they hatch and uh Sligu can dig so he could be anywhere in here but uh yeah <laughs> next we're venturing outside to see some birdies recently like maybe a month ago my mom's friend gave us some chicks to take care of for her and in return of taking care of them she'd give us half the females rounded down so um these are the baby chicks these are the new ones two of them don't have names yet hey stop pecking your your friends stop pecking you anyway these are the chicken chicks um you probably won't be able to to like tell them apart because they're kind of all moving around but that one's Shadow. Shadow doesn't have white around its eyeball, and Snowflake is yellow, which will turn white. Um, the one with a bunch of white around its beak is Biggie, the one right in between those two. The Biggie is um, that one that's huddled in between all of the other chickens. Then we have Ash, which is the one right here, and Twinkle, which is the one that the gray one that just ran over here, underneath there. Clay is the brown one that's on top of the heater. And then we have two black unnamed ones. 
Okay, so this is going to be a pretty long voiceover because I just wanted to say a few things. So there's the chicken name list. Oh, by the way, this is afterwards, so those two other ones have names. I believe one of them was Clara, and I forget the other one. But the chicken name list is Twinkle, Clay, Ash, Biggie, Clara, the other one I forgot the name of, sorry, other chicken, and then Snowflake, and I believe that's everybody. But then, recently, the friend who gave us the little chicks, so her neighbor found a turkey that was eating her crops, and it was Thanksgiving, around Thanksgiving, I believe. Was it? They just, no, it wasn't around Thanksgiving. Okay, never mind. It was, it was around now. So they found the turkey, and they killed it, and they ate it. And then after, and they posted it on, what was it, Facebook or something? Instagram. Instagram. And so... I don't know, like, about stuff on Instagram or whatever. Anyway, so then later... Okay, I don't know how to do this better than just making a freeze frame. Um, I'm using iMovie, by the way, but if anybody knows, then please tell me. To keep person who gave us chicken's name private, I'm just going to call them person. So, person! I saw the post, and she found turkey chicks. Who, they killed their mom, and she found turkey chicks wandering around in the bushes. And so she uh, took the turkey chicks. There's, like, this YouTube video that has the sound of a mom turkey calling their babies. So if you play the first part of it, then the turkey chicks will come out because they think their mom's calling. It's really sad and cute. Anyway, so now we have three turkey babies. They're hiding under the heater at the moment. If you see the, its butt... Right there. There are three of them, and they are adorable, and they are terrified of me. The littlest one's name is Hope. The middle one's name is Miracle, because I accidentally lost her. She, I held her, and she was, like, flapping, and then she got loose, and she ran into the bushes over there. And we had to play that video when she came out and she was in the in the chicken coop because she could get through the fence because she was tiny. I'm going to call them all girls because that's what I hope they are, all girls, so that we get to keep them. My goodness, I've been doing a lot of voiceovers in this video, but we actually ended up giving them to a wildlife person. So don't worry, they're safe. They are not in captivity because that is illegal. They're now probably roaming the hills. So yeah. Anyway. They're basically just hiding under the heater because they're little guys and they need the heat. And then more recently, just uh, like a day ago, I think, she brought in another turkey chick that she had found wandering around the bushes. And I named it Love because I was giving them cute up uplifting names because, you know, they've lost their mom. They need, they need uplifting names. Turkey babies. Hey there. It's tiny. It's adorable. I need to keep it in my hands because last time when one of them jumped out, it ran into the bushes. So, if you see those ones, that one, this one, is Hope. Well, no, no, you're not allowed to do that. This one's Hope. The tall one with the skinny neck is um, Love. And then the one back there is Miracle, the one that's running there. Okay, Hope. Hope's the littlest one. Everybody's jumping out. Hi, Hope. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> You're so cute. I love you, Hope. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, hey, you can't fly. You're just going to flop. Don't fall. There you go, Hope. <laughs> okay, everybody back in. Oh, there's three out here. Everybody back oh. in. Back in, back in, back in, back in. Back in. <laughs> Ash, 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 please, 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 Ash. Please, I beg of you. Ah, why are you so hard? Get back in. There Yay. Okay, one more, I believe. It's like, no, it's back there way. somewhere. Okay. Okay, all the black ones are in. The turkey chicks are in. Who are we missing? The little gray ones. Twinkle! Twinkle, come back here. Twinkle, get out from behind there. <laughs> Twinkle! Thank you, Twinkle.
The great chicken chase happens here a lot. It happens. Well, it used to happen every day, twice a day, getting those chickens from the brooder to there, and then from there back to the brooder at night. But now they're too big for that, and we've got these guys. So here are the chickens that we got before, and they have grown into teenagers now. They're pretty big. And uh, if we go into the chicken coop, Come with me and you'll see a world of pure coop. Here we are in the chicken coop. We got big chickens. And um, this one, this blackish gray one with its tail sticking out, that's Puffball. He is a rooster and he's a silky. This one right here is Pumpkin. That's Goldilocks. Not the white one, but the one that's back there. The one that's trying to get attention, that's Pichu. <laughs> Hi, Pichu. That's Uno, right there. She's my favorite because she's the only one who really jumps on my lap. She also wants attention. <laughs> so, right here is Dawn. She's also a Silky. Keep on giving you info from after the fact, but Dawn turned out to be a boy, so, uh... He's a rooster. Hi, Uno. We know we've already gotten your turn. You've already had your turn. Oh, wait, no, sorry. This is, wait a moment. That one's Dawn, that white one. This one is, you know, it's kind of hard to tell apart the white silkies right now. But I believe that that one's Dawn and that this one is um, Cream Puff. Hang on, I need to look at all of them. It's really hard to tell. This one's Dusk. This one's Dawn, and this one's Cream Puff. If you see how different Cream Puff and, um, and Puff Ball look, by the way, I wanted to name him Fluff Ball, but my mom kept calling him Puffy, so we settled on Puff Ball. So they used to be little gray chicks. They used to look pretty much the same. He started growing in white feathers. Well, she, I think he might be a girl, actually. And he started growing in black feathers, and now they look completely different. Over here we have Dose. Hi, Dose. Dose looks like Uno, but she has got a bigger spot on her head. Uno, we've already done your turn. <laughs> Stop waltzing in front of the camera, please. Okay, who have we not done? We've done all of the moss eggers, which are these white ones. All the silkies. Um, yeah, we need all of the uh, Wyandots now. That's what these chickens are. So, we've done pumpkin already. Pumpkin, say hello. Where's that pumpkin? You know, they're really hard to tell apart. That one's Goldilocks. Hi. Please don't peck the lens. Good boy. No pecking of lenses today. This one, I believe, is Pumpky, and this one, well, you kind of have to see on their behavior. Lacey runs away at everything. You know, it's really hard to tell, okay? So one of those is Goldilocks, one of them's Pumpky, and the other one's Lacey. Pichu's just Pichu. such a camera hog. Pichu, Pichu. Hi, Pichu. Yes, you're posing for the camera. Beautiful. You're a handsome rooster. You're a handsome rooster. rooster. <laughs> oh, yeah, Peach is growing in, like, orange feathers on his neck, so he's going to have a beautiful, beautiful orange head soon. Okay. <laughs> Let me pet you. Okay, Peachu. See you later. So, um, yeah, those are my pets right now. And uh, Peachu always tries to make a dash for it when I open the door. I used to have a bunch of cool pets too, but they have all either died or have been released. And, um. More voiceovers! Um, don't worry, these pets have not, like, had really weird, unnatural deaths. They, I've just been talking about all my pets in my entire life. So, and don't worry, also, the pets that have been released are native to the area um and they also haven't been like they're mostly just like 
bugs, <laughs> snails and stuff. I love keeping bugs. Um, but maybe I'll make a separate video on all of my previous pets. Yeah. So those are my pets right now. And bye-bye.